trying to rally congressional Democrats around the president's spending bill. News 4's Pat Lawson Mew spoke with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, and they discussed what's in the plan and what are the chances for success and the potential impact this is all going to have on Metro. The infrastructure plan would pump billions into transportation projects here in the Washington area. Joining me now to talk about the new framework is Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Secretary. Thanks for having me on. The infrastructure bill passed by the Senate would include $150 million per year for Metro for the next eight years. How far do you think that will go toward helping Metro get a handle on the safety, the financial and capital improvement problems it's now dealing with? Well, we view this funding as vitally important, and that's one of the reasons why it's included in this plan. Uh, commuters across the area depend on Metro in order to get to where they're going. And it also benefits, uh, you know, the entire uh, community, the entire city, the entire region to have a strong, healthy, clean, and of course, safe Metro system. Uh, the more people are uh, able to count on Metro, uh, the, the less you have to, to bring a, a car with you everywhere you're going, the more options there are for people who uh, don't own or, or regularly operate cars, and, and that means less congestion. That means less pollution. It means more economic strength. Uh, so this is something that we uh, believe in supporting across the country, which is why you see the most transit funding that the federal government has ever done proposed in this bill, but also specifically for WMATA, making sure that those dollars are there to support the upgrades, improvements, and, and operations that are just so important to everybody in the capital region. And what's your impression of the president's new social spending proposal? What's still in and what's been left out of that package? It is transformational in a word. We're talking about the most uh, we've done to expand health care as a country since the Affordable Care Act was passed. The most we've done to make it more affordable to raise children in this country in generations. And the most we've done to tackle climate change ever. There is no American who will not be impacted, who will not benefit in some way from, uh, from this plan. I mean, if you just think about what it means to finally become a country where Everyone can count on pre-kindergarten education. Uh, what it would mean for millions of families to have that guarantee of affordable childcare. Uh, when we think about what it's going to mean for the future competitiveness of this country, uh, to make this a, a place where education really is given the, the, the support that it needs, uh, where more Americans are healthy, where more people can afford to return to the workforce, and of course, that all-important work on climate change to make sure that the next generation can thrive. Uh, progressive Democrats have endorsed the president's framework in principle. Are you confident they'll get behind this and push it over the finish line? I think so. The president made a personal appeal, uh, letting them know that uh, he is counting on them, needs those votes. And, you know, we really do want the same things. Uh, everybody wanted uh, their priorities to be recognized. No, nobody got everything that they wanted, including the president. And so there are other elements of the original proposal that uh, we'll keep fighting for. But when we do, We'll be doing it from a position of strength if we have, are able to point to the game-changing generational investment that this framework represents. It really is a, a colossal win, not just you know, politically, not just for, for our party, but really for the country. And I think Americans are looking to Congress to see action and, and to see this through. Buttigieg says the administration will continue fighting for paid family leave. That was taken out of the president's framework.